Now we're gonna go over how to swipe to text with the Gboard keyboard or what they call glide typing. Um, so instead of just typing out like normal, you can actually swipe to text. So if we just um, take whatever frame we're using, um, you'll just swipe on the letters you want. So you can see for the, T-H-E, and it'll get the word the, and then you can go on and move to the next word. Um, and you can keep, again, going like this. And you can just swipe around, and it's going to go ahead and do the best it can to guess which word you're typing. And the more you do it, the better it gets. Um, and it'll also come up with suggestions here at the top. Um, if for some reason I wanted faster instead of fast, it's an easy fix right there. Um, so that's the basics of glide to type. The other important thing to realize here is you don't need to be hitting the space key. You just swipe out one word and then go immediately to the next one. Right? And so I don't need to be hitting the space key. I just swipe one word out and then let go, and then it knows to put a space in between those two words. So that's the basics of glide typing. Um, it's really great if you only have one hand and you're doing something with your other hand so you can't use both thumbs to type, um, and it does take some getting used to, um, but once you've kind of gotten the hang of it, it's actually pretty fast and pretty easy to do, and I know a lot of people kind of prefer it um, to swipe in text um, than to normal um, typing. So that's how you go ahead and use glide typing. Um, that's pretty much how it works on any keyboard um, that supports um, swipe to text or glide typing, whatever they want to call it, but um, I'm using Gboard keyboard here, so you know it'll work on that. So um, if you don't have um, glide typing turned on in the settings for the keyboard, you will have to go and do that. So to make sure that's turned on, you can jump into the settings for Gboard here, and you can do that by just long pressing on the comma key here, and then you'll see we've already got the settings gear here selected, so we'll just let go. And then you'll go ahead and click on glide typing. Once here, um, you can go ahead and turn on which settings you want. So the first one you want to turn on is glide typing. Show the gesture trail. That's just like the little um, trail it shows behind your finger. Um, you can have that animation on or off. It's up to you. Um, and then this is just a fancy way to delete words. You can delete words by sliding left from the delete key. So you never kind of have to take your finger off there. Um, you can enable just gesture uh, cursor control, move cursor by sliding across the space bar. Um, I recommend, even if you don't like um, glide typing or swipe to text that you have this on, because it does make it really easy. Like if I need, if I misspell something, um, I can actually just long press and kind of swipe and I can just swipe along the um, space bar here and you can see the cursor at the top is moving around and I can easily kind of pinpoint where I need to go and delete something, right? So that's a very easy way to go and make changes. So that's um, an overview of glide typing. Um, hopefully that helps.